Evans. Yeah, looking at that last game. Okay. Thank you for the follows. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna time. match you uh, properly this time. And I mean the Good. the real the real um, the real score is uh, one to one in Scrabble. Because I resigned that first game. Oh yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> thanks for the sub. Almost forgot about that. Um, okay, muting you and sending you a rematch. Okay. Good luck. All right, let's go here. Uh, thanks a lot for the sub, Brian. I really appreciate that. Uh, and hey, uh, Hahidi Bum. All right, this is a good opening rack. This is a good opening rack. Um, hopefully, I can. I have to not look at chat though. People are going to suggest plays, but I, I once again appreciate everybody. Uh, oh. I'll definitely. Wow. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't give me any room to breathe um so what i'm looking for is a play like assy loins um the only thing that would be better than that uh is to double the y synovial doesn't do that <laughs> i don't know why i don't think it's it might not even be a word there's also nodality nodality through um yeah. I think I'll just play acid loins. I can't see anything better. And I draw the other blank. Alright. That's good. So he's open with a bingo both games. And for the uh fans of math out there, the likelihood of that is around one in seven. Um not exactly sure precisely, but it's something like that. One in seven games you'll have on your opening rack, if you're first, a uh, seven letter word you can play. Uh, if you're second, it's it's higher because your opponent will often give you a letter to play an eight letter word. Let me just close this a sec. Um, but yeah, man, I'm, uh, I was in such a good, good position in that chess game. I should play, I should play the openings faster. That was a suggestion, but for this next one, I need to be, extremely careful extremely careful i i think this is a lot easier for eric to play when he has no pawns versus when he has no queen although regardless i mean it's pretty easy um but yeah so far like you said things have been quite oh. interesting uh let's see packs so I have the J and the X. The J is slightly worse than the, well, it's, it's worse than the X. Uh, so I would look to play that before I play my X, but it does seem that the plays I have favor my X this turn and hopefully next turn I'll be able to play uh, my J. But yeah, I can do something like Haji. Um, but yeah. Oh, I can just do Haj actually. That's that's the play. I didn't see that until now. Um, yeah. Some letters that are worth eight points are good and others are bad. Well, there are only two the J and the X. And the J is not so good, and the X is pretty good. has a lot to do with short words and and um, flexibility with other letters. Um, you can learn a lot about specific letters, actually. I have a, a will command. Um, will has created a bunch of YouTube videos uh, that are educational that talk to you about specific letters in Scrabble. Um, so if you were here for Eric's last Scrabble collab, that was with Will. And since then he hasn't stopped oh. making great content. Okay, he plays oiliest. Normally I would assume that means he has another S, but I'm not gonna assume that. It could have just been his highest scoring play, uh, but normally you don't wanna play your S for uh, 25 points like that. But uh, yeah, I don't wanna read too much into that. Um, let's 
So I still have the X. Now I actually don't have, I don't see a good spot for it. X con is not a word. I can just play codex or something. I'm not really sure. I could play something like COD. It's a it's a close game, so I kind of don't want to play around too much here. Uh, expo, expo. I can do that. That's probably fine. Um, yeah, that's probably fine. I don't know. Hopefully I'll bingo next turn after this. Okay, that's great. I'm going to bingo. Um, pretty sure. Let's just find stuff. Uh, first thing I'll look for is something with uh, idolizes or idolized. Um, so I'm looking for seven letter words. He's going to have a C point. Bone zooks, I think. I think that's a word, French word. Um, but I can just try it if I'm not sure of it. Because once again, we're playing in void challenge. I have a challenge command that explains the different challenge rules in Scrabble. So I can type that. Um, yeah, while not looking at chat. Feel free to suggest plays and stuff. I don't want to hold you back. So I'm not looking at your suggestions. Uh, conduits, noctuids, to that T, those don't quite fit. Um, I should find a backup. Conduces. I, I have a lot of oozle, nice play. So I can play conduces here. For 74, that's defensive. Uh, Bonesix is a bit more. No, it's only 70, yeah, because it doesn't hit any. doesn't hit any uh, bonus squares. So Bonesix here is obviously the most points. Um, I'm okay with scoring the points here. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Maybe I had something better. But I have a time, slight time advantage, which is good. Um, as in chess, uh, time advantage is very good and people start making a lot of mistakes when time is a ticking. So right now I'm hoping he doesn't play through the D, but he probably will. This is the biggest spot on the board. It's closely followed by this spot. These red triple words are very powerful. Um, so if he does play through the D, I have this play, which scores well, but keeps E-E-I-I, -E which is not ideal. But I might do that anyway, because it just scores so many points. Um, each play in Scrabble is kind of like a calculation of uh, points plus the tiles you leave, or as we call it, the leave. Um, so if I can only score like um, 25 points elsewhere, the EEII combo isn't going to stop me from scoring 41 because it's just a lot of points. Um, yeah, I obviously could explain that better, <laughs> but um, yeah, I just didn't see any other plays there that looked like the point sacrifice was worth it, because I would have had to find a play that used an I, maybe an E, um, elsewhere on the board that didn't really exist, I think.
normally I look at chat right after games and people tell me what I missed um, but we're just gonna be checking this game out on the observer after after this um, yeah I might want to try something to get Eric in frame more often but um, faint is a good play opens the board up um, there's nothing I can really do I can play a guy uh, which blocks things a bit uh, he would now have to make three words hooking this with an N, D, or S and hooking this with an S to hit this big spot otherwise he would have to start with an S uh, and I have this play peg in my back pocket I could play that now or I could play that after I think I'm going to play this first okay that was a good draw um, I'm happy with that draw because now I can play something even stronger this this um, I might play Pig and hope he doesn't know the E, the E hook of Piage or Peage, as it would be pronounced in French. Um, yeah, just just hoping your opponent doesn't see hooks is not a very good strategy, unless you're desperate. So he exchanges six, so he must have had like probably many R's or something like that. Um, there's still a lot of R's left. He might have had the Q, use the V. Um, so I will do this. Yeah, I'll do this. And see if he, the thing is he, he could just try it. You can just say, oh, does this take an E? And like, if he if he doesn't know the word, he can still try it because of the the challenge we're playing in. Uh, okay, so he plays that. Um, I'm happy to see that. You just play Curie, uh, Nurek. I just hope I'm not missing something. But yeah, I'm in very good position here. I'm ahead by over 100 now. This spot is dealt with. There's only this spot and this spot that I'm now worried about. Um, but if he only hits one of those spots, it won't be enough to win most of the time. Yeah, I wonder if I had something there. Hmm. So I could play something like Rebegin, but no, I probably want to play something like this next. Because this does a great job at shutting down the two, um, two spots that I'm worried about. It does create some counterplay if he starts the word with E, but he definitely needs to use all his tiles. And not many words start with an E. So let's do this. Um, I guess I should have considered something like Bren and G-I-E-N. This, this is actually a decent sized scoring spot and has been for the past few turns. If you have a D or even just an N or an S, you can oh. score a lot of points here as he does. So now I'm just going to operate under the um, under the hmm. I was gonna say that I should block everything, but I can't block everything. I don't think. 
So I might just play refund uh, and hope he doesn't play with this. But I think I'll still be okay. Um, this is still a spot. I also, yeah, I could have used this spot as well to score. Yeah, I think Bargy was too much of an overreaction. Uh, this leaves one in the bag. It's hard to imagine losing after this. So the only thought thing I was worried about is not drawing a vowel. Uh, but I did draw that I. But the whole point of this is to leave one tile in the bag, score a decent amount of points. As I was talking about um, tempo earlier. Now I'm ahead by 71, or sorry, 69. And if he does get some um, Hail Mary play here, um, I will have the opportunity to um, use the end game in my favor. But I could easily see myself lose if he if the B was like a P and he had like envelope. Um, that would be problematic. Because, yeah, that would score a lot, and then he would have one tile left. It would be really close after that. Um, what's my best option here? I actually don't have good options. Hmm. Yeah, if he does get something that I'm that I'm missing, he might actually win. He might pip me, as they say, win by a very small margin. Excuse me. Uh, all right, so here I win, but I'd like to go out in two, use all my tiles within two turns. But I don't think I can do that because I only have the one vowel. So, yeah, what's, there's no way I can play three consonants, right? If I can just play three consonants, I might be able to threaten something, but tahini, well, that's a cool play. Um, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, just play this it's fine normally in a longer time format I would pay attention to what his options are and make a play the the end game is is the only time in Scrabble where uh, the game is completely skill based uh, there's just an optimal sequence of moves um, that you need to find, which involves finding your opponent's moves, which is the same as chess. Um, but that's one part of the Scrabble game that um, that there is no variance or luck in what you're drawing because you have perfect information. Okay, so let's just uh, do this. He has Oba, he has B spots for B.O. Can't do much about it. All right, so it's two to two. Oh, he's not going out. I guess, yeah, okay. Let's see here. Good game. Man, your word, your, your, yeah, uh, good game. what is this word? Acoloins and Acyloins. Yeah, Acyloins. yeah. Are these yeah, words are... specifically studied for Scrabble or um, are, the, are they like words that you're like knowledgeable about or it could be neither well it it mm -hmm. could be neither i could have just like a lot of the words that i know uh are words that i've seen just seen before mm -hmm. and not like actually studied um but i i've probably at this point uh studied both of those yes gotcha. but um as as somebody who is a lot a lot further behind people like will uh, if you know mm -hmm. uh, Wander 15 in terms of word knowledge, I've always struggled to get myself to just like do the puzzles part of Scrabble, do the do the studying uh, part. The I just studying, love sure. I just love the game so much. 
um but uh at, at a certain point when you get to a certain level it's basically mandatory or else you'll just fall behind yeah, um, that makes sense all right so i guess i could try so what i can try to do to get your camera to work mm -hmm. is if i do this um just give me two seconds, Eric. But yeah, uh, I got really lucky with both blanks uh, early on. That was uh, that was very that was very lucky. Um, oh yeah, well I got lucky with idolize. It's the first or the second opening bingo for me between our two Scrabble games. Yeah, I did. I did mention that. I did mention that. Mm -hmm. um, but no, yeah. I mean, just I was able to respond immediately. So it, it, I was saying how like the stats are like seven uh, one in seven basically for having an opening seven letter word That's true mm -hmm. um okay let's see if this yeah this doesn't work <laughs> sorry no okay um oh no it asked me if i wanted to remove eric sorry eric i removed you i called the window oh, eric no. uh, um yeah anyways okay let's just go to the game examine it for a sec uh idolize yeah uh, there's also doilies. Um, doilies is a bit safer. Oh, it doesn't that's true. Place yeah, the cause... s mm -hmm. on the uh, on the. But when you're playing somebody who you think you're an underdog against, which I assume you think you're an underdog against me, it might. Hey, let me. Oh yes, yeah. <laughs> you do want to play a bit more that. dangerously. I, I said exactly at the beginning of this game. I'm the underdog in Scrabble and the overdog in chess. Okay. So. I would I would agree with that, but you're you're definitely approaching um, very very strong territory. Yeah, it's still competitive, what I've seen. though. Yeah, exactly. Um, oiliest. I was actually explaining that I might assume in other circumstances that your last tile had to be another S uh, uh, if you're only playing the S for that score, but it justifies it if you have another vowel. Um, you really want to score as much as possible in that position. Um, so yeah, keeping, I mean, keeping a U is really not ideal. Uh, you did have the word toil or twill, T-U-I-L-E, which is an oh, obscure word yeah, I didn't see making T-W-O, which would have kept your S. But like sometimes, sometimes in Scrabble, like you see a uh, move, it's, I'm sure it's the same in chess where you're like, oh, that can't be, that can't be right. Sometimes it is right. Uh, but usually, yeah, usually you should trust your, your intuition. Uh, and I decided I would not assume you had another S. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but yeah, having another U, that, yeah, that sucks. It sucks to keep a U as your only tile. Um, but yeah, Oilius. Yeah, yeah, Oilius was, was a good way to score. And you do want to mm -hmm. open the board against me um, just to keep yourself with opportunities. Sure. And uh, yeah, Ausel is a great, great word. Did you know that from? How did you know that word? You just that, seen that's it one I've just learned from experience. I probably saw at some point either from playing someone online or Aerolith, maybe. But uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a, good it's a very useful know. word. Yeah. It's also hard to see. So yeah, it's yeah. good. Um, it says you had uh, Zine um through oh i didn't see ad, through, ADZ. yeah that's a that's a crazy play uh, it's very hard to see some overlapping plays sometimes right um but yeah i don't even know if i would have seen that it's a bit crazy uh, and yeah, yeah i had a i had a better play a dunkus i actually did wonder if i had missed something there but yeah oh, dunkus wow. mm -hmm. is is a very nice two u eight letter word um but yeah other than that, oh, I was a nine letter word too. Douchings. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that one uh, that one's a funny one. Yeah. yeah. Nine letter words. Sometimes you just want to play them for the flash, uh, sure. for the flashiness. But I didn't I didn't see that, and it's not the most family friendly word, so I just decided. Fair enough. <laughs> um, um, yeah. So here, okay. So here, yeah. You played how, which is similar to similar to the i think better play of fado mm -hmm. um because the h is usually better than the f 
um, especially given that you already have AH to underlap ZA and EH and like just play AH there or NAH there. Um, it's always good to try and get rid of uh, letters that don't seem to have much use immediately. Um, yeah, that's but, a good yeah. point. I saw Fado too, but... Um... But the good yeah, thing about I... how is that it, it blocks actually the whole O, col o column. I could get like a, a big play down the O column, but how would block that too? That's true. Um, however, yeah, and it's 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 sometimes hard. Like, there is like a rule of thumb that if you're behind, you want to block scoring spots for your opponent, and if you're ahead, you want to block bingo spots. Um, but that does vary a lot, and I think sure. in this situation, you probably want to play Fado, but it, it, it's a good it's a definitely a good notion uh, to remember that if you can get rid of two big spots at once that's that's very good because mm -hmm. your opponent gets the first move uh, yeah and any of your plays would have blocked my best play I wanted to play wide through the D and I was explaining how MAW keeping EEII wasn't very ideal but um, yeah, yeah inf infamy oh nice wow Which that's a, that's I, a yeah, nice play I not consider uh, but faint, I actually think is a better play. Uh, you're you're down by eighty. You need to open stuff up. Uh, yeah, I don't I was have hoping an S. to draw the last S. And... Yeah, if I yeah. don't have an S, like it's really hard for me to deal with that. And as you saw, I didn't quite deal with it. Uh, I was able to play guy to kind of block it, but and then not, then I picked fully. up like horrendous yeah. letters. Yeah, I'm just but I'm just I gonna move through is that. The right move. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. There, you're really really in in tough shape uh yeah. you kind of yeah what did you trade down to you kept the k i wasn't so what sure was, yeah. yeah what was the thinking there um because i didn't want to draw something vowel heavy and the k is the only letter that can't be duplicated because i've been watching wander's better know a letter series right yeah it can't be duplicated K, K that's true going tile too maybe at some point so why not keep it yeah because at this point bingo friendly is well yeah i mean but at this point it, it makes sense to to want to keep a scoring tile because i'm going to be able to probably score some points next turn and you'll be further than a bingo score behind so you'll want sure. to have some firepower there so it makes sense um, so here. then, you, okay, after I played Yak, yeah. I I drew um, a 61-point play Vera under Yak. Oh. And then I, I made the comment, oh, maybe Josh will play a six-letter word ending with an E, which you did. Oh, okay. So that was sad. <laughs> wow. So, so, wait, didn't you say no stream sniping? So I, yeah, I, 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 I was prophesizing. I was stream prophesizing. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. I yeah. believe you. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. The thing about Pig is it takes an E, um, and I was hoping you wouldn't, you wouldn't see or know that, um, but you didn't even have an E, so it didn't matter. Yeah, you were drawing. Mm -hmm. uh, drawing the Q was really bad there. Yeah. After Curie, the game is almost over. Right. Um, it's really hard for you to continue. But I think my play of Bargy was very, was quite the overreaction. Um, I was I was noticing, yeah, I was noticing the great defense that basically blocked all the plays that hook idolize, um, and it blocked all the plays that play through the A, and that's basically all you have. It did in turn create a spot where you can play from the E, for one of the E's, either of the E's. Um, so I don't really know. Right. In terms of numbers, like if it's better to do that and try to play full on defense, it's always a difficult situation. Do you want to play full on defense or do you want to just mm -hmm. keep scoring? And I think there I really should have just kept scoring. There's no way you can outrun me, It'll I come think, back, right? If I play just bin bin and So Diane. when you played refund, I I was kind of fantasizing about playing through the E L mm -hmm. and playing the word level tone which <laughs> I, I just checked is not a word uh, okay um, that doesn't level quite tone fit. or level notes the, yeah it doesn't it doesn't which quite fit blocks. but yeah yeah oh, okay you're saying oh you're saying as a as a nine yeah level note level tone as that's nine, funny yeah, but, yeah. Uh, I, obviously I you have, have to try, try that it. yeah yeah 
So yeah, even when so. you block all of the spots for eight and seven letter words, there might be some crazy situation where a nine letter word is possible. That was a hope, but yeah, it didn't it didn't become a reality. Yeah, level tone, good level game. note. Yeah, good game. Okay, so let's uh, yeah, yeah, that was that was really lucky of me, I think, to get the both blanks. So we'll see we'll see what happens in this chess yeah, game. This is gonna be really, really intense. This chess game, Eric. Oh Ooh. my god, I'm I looking forward to this one. Not looking forward. To it. <laughs> 